Hello, this is from Drive Football Productions with another Blender quick tip. And in this quick tip, I'm going to show you how you can align uh, optics in Blender fairly easily with an add-on, which actually comes with Blender. Now this, I'm using Blender 2.82. What I've seen from my research is that this tool that comes with Blender, but it only comes in Blender the 2.8 series and 2.9 series and 3.0 series. But anything below 2.8, like 2.7 and below, it doesn't come with it. So just be aware of that. Uh, but let me set up this scene. But before I set it up, let's, I'll just see where it is inside of Blender. Go to Edit, Preferences, and type in Align, Align actually in the search box. And it's right there. So I check in the box and that activates it. And it's located in the Items tab. And I'll show you where that is also. Let's set up a scene first. I've got the cube here. And let's add a couple more things to our scene. Shift A. Let me turn on uh, the screencast keys. And let's um, see, position this properly. There we go. Okay, let's set up some a scene here. So we have our cube here. So Shift A. Let's add Suzanne. She's a, seems to be a favorite popular favorite for blender shift a again and let's add a uv sphere and i guess that's good enough let's add one more thing shift a again let's add a plane now this plane is what we want to use uh to actually align our tools to or align our meshes to this plane uh, right now it's kind of small which is fine but let's go to where the add-on is, and it's in the items tab, which is right there. If you navigate down, we minimize all this stuff. You'll see align tools right there. Now, in order for you to align an object to uh, something else, let's say you wanted to put plates or cups uh, on top of a shelf that you've modeled in Blender, you don't want to have to eyeball it. You just want to have as much assistance as possible when you align them or put them on the shelf in your model. What you can do is just click on what you want to be aligned. And then the second thing, hold down shift click on what you what you want it to be aligned to. It's a bit of a tongue twister. Once you've done that, you can align the location, align the rotation, align the scale. Um, if you don't want to go through all the process of X, Y, and Z, you can just click on all and it aligns it to our plane here. Now I've seen with this add-on, there, there are add-ons out there called, there's one called uh, ProLign. We can align several objects at the same time, but with this particular add-on that's free in Blender, you can only align objects one at a time and that's the best it does. Uh, but let's press Control Z and let's see what else it can do. Uh, let's press S, uh, press our uh, plane there. Let's press S on our keyboard to scale it up. And let's move it over a bit. And then if we hold, uh, press on Suzanne first, we want Suzanne to be scaled up to the size of the of our plane here. Hold on, shift. Left click on the plane and you can go to a line scale. I just click on all and it makes Suzanne the same size as the uh, plane here, which is pretty cool. Shift Z. Let's see what else this can do. Left click on that. On our plane, let's rotate it. Uh, on the X axis by 90 degrees, let's press R, X on our keyboard at 90. Enter. And we want our cube to do the same. But if we want to really see the results of how the cube is going to rotate, let's, let's uh, kind of not have it at 90 degrees. Let's put it at 45. Let's press Control Z first. Then R, X, 45, enter. That way our plane is kind of uh, at a more unique angle. And then let's left click on our cube, hold on shift, left click on our plane, and align to, let's say, rotation. Click on all. And it puts our cube at the same angle of our plane. You can also align it to the location by pressing all and it moves it to that location of where our plane is.
which is cool. Let's press Control Z. And we can check out some of the advanced settings. Now the advanced settings are there if you want to incrementally uh, adjust the location, rotation, and the scale of what you're wanting to align to what you want it to align to. Uh, for myself personally, I don't really uh, fiddle too much with that. But let's take a look at it anyway. Let's click on Advanced. And it'll come up with this pop-up menu here. Let's press on our arrow here to expand the pop-up. It's got some of the same controls as uh, it does on this side, but where the difference comes in is when you press on advanced options, left click on that, and now you have all these options for rotation uh, scale where you can incrementally uh, align it, you know, as best as you want it to be, you know, probably in small increments, increase, increase the X uh, size by 0 0.06, and let's do the same thing to um, your, your meshes. So yeah, this is a, a pretty good and solid uh, piece of, a, of an add-on here. I mean, like I said before, it's not like the Pro Align tool where you can move several objects at once. And when it places objects on top of what you want it to be aligned to, it kind of, it doesn't really place the bottom of the object on top of the uh, face of the plane. As you can as you can see if I press the uh, select the cube again hold on shift select the plane and align it to the location press all it kind of embeds the cube I mean if this is, if this is what you're looking for in terms of embedding uh, an object inside of an, another object this is fine but if you were wanting to uh, kind of finesse it to where you want your object the top object to kind of lie on top of the um, plain object, you'd have to just pull it out yourself. Let's uh, align it to the rotation to, so you can see what I'm talking about. Press all there. Just have to pull it out on your own. Just left click on the cube and kind of just eyeball it. And then there's on top of our plane. Uh, but besides that, you know, that part of it, so you can probably use the advanced settings to do that also. Uh, but it seems to be easier if you just eyeball it yourself and do it on your own. But yeah, that's the uh, align tool that comes with Blender. It, like I said before, just aligns one object at a time. It doesn't do a whole lot of objects, just one object at a time. But one object is better than none. So yeah, that's it. So yeah, uh, hopefully I thank you. Uh, hopefully those of you who are watching have learned something uh, and this has helped you. And uh, thank you guys for subscribing past, those of you who are, are subscribing now. And those of you who will subscribe in the future, and I will see you guys on the next one. All right, adios.